So far we've learned how to draw players, lines, boxes, and text. We've learned how to select those things and change their attributes. So let's finally draw a play. I like to start out with a football field, so we'll first create a box, and the easy way to do that is to go under the Commands menu and do Frame Page. That gives us a nice box around the outside edge of the page. And if we go under Format, we can put some yard lines in that box. And we can go back under Format and put some numbers on the field. And let's add an end zone at the top of the field. So now we have a nice, precise, to scale field that we can draw our play on. So I'm going to click on the Play tool and click down here on the 20-yard line to create a set of 22 players. And I'd like to change the symbols for the defense. So let's highlight the defense. I'll go into the Format menu and set their symbol to a square with a letter in it. And let's also fill them with gray color. So for the offense, let's highlight them as well. But I like the center the way he is, so I'm going to shift click on him so he's no longer selected. And we'll go into the Format menu and set the offensive players to a circle with a letter in it. And let's fill them with yellow color. Now we could zoom in on this to make it a little easier to work on. Now the player's letters are a little more complex than they need to be, so let's click on a player, go under commands and set the player's letters. And let's just change them to a single letter each and I'll use the tab key to tab through these fields and set each one to just one letter. Okay, so our players are looking pretty good. Uh, let's zoom in a little more. And let's put our players in position. So the Z is going to go over here. The Y is going to go over here. This T is going to go over here. And you, you can see the alignment guides coming on, showing us that this player is lined up with the guy in front of him and the guy beside him. We'll bring him back into here. We'll put these guys out covering the players they're supposed to cover. We'll flip these two around. Move the backs a little bit. So our players are in position now, so let's draw some blocks. We'll get the block line tool and He'll block to the right. This tackle will block over and to the right. He's going to block to the right. The center is going to block over and to the right. This guy is going to come up and push him to the right. He'll come up and cover his corner. We'll do the same thing. I'm going to change the default color for lines. And let's change the line color to orange. Because this guy is going to come back here and then go over and block this guy. And this guy is going to drop back as well and come over here. And we'll use an arc to bring him up through here, and another arc to bring him to this guy. Stop our line there. And I want to change the color again, so let's change the line color to red. So we're going to bring the quarterback's going to come back here, and the fullback is going to come up here and get the ball and head on up through here. And let's make his line a little thicker. And we need a title for our play, so let's get the text tool and put counter front up here. 
And we can change the size of that. Change its font. We can grab him and slide him until the purple line appears. Then we know that that text is in the middle of the page. And let's select the box and go under Format and set the box fill color to green. So now we have a green football field with white yard lines. And we'll back out a little bit, see how she looks. Give it a run. So that's how we draw plays with Playmaker Pro.